stuck, you better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. But we do need subscribers. Go Rob. Can he do it again? Saturday, October 26, 1985. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is like at the ending of the last movie. How about a ride, mister? What? Jennifer. Did they recast Jennifer? What the fuck is happening? What? It Freaking Elizabeth Shoe though, I freaking love her. Cocktail baby, woo! Is she wearing a wig? Party. <laughs> I love it. Back to the future. Can you see him with his goggles? Mr. Fusion, this is really throwing me right now. What happens to us in the future? What do we become, assholes or something? <laughs> Your kids, Marty. Something's gotta be done about your kids. Something's gotta be done about your kids, Marty. Oh yeah, and then like the license plate was different. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Biff. Whoa, cool angle. Like the boring. <laughs> Back to the Future, part two. Oh no, is Biff gonna be a bad guy? All right, we're in the clouds here. I don't know how much I like that re-shooting of the ending of the last one, cause I loved the ending in the last one, so. But did they do that to just introduce like the recasting of Elizabeth Shue? Just so you can kind of like understand that it's her as Jennifer? We shall see. I'm eating Nooch Pop today. So what are you guys having? I hope it's a good snack. Whoa, we're in the future. Ah! <laughs> Gotta learn how to drive there, Doc. What the hell was that? Taxi cab. <laughs> He's got like a little headphone thing. Why? Precisely. When are we? When are we? Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. You mean we're in the future? <laughs> how can we be in the future? Didn't you realize that the car was flying? You're in a time machine. <laughs> and it's a DeLorean. Now you said we were married, right? Uh uh, uh, divorced? <laughs> Look at Doc! How many kids? Doc! What are you doing? She was asking so many questions. Right. What? You can't just. Did you bring her food? Yeah. <laughs> She's not essential to my plan. What, Doc? What is going on? Well, you're the Doc, Doc. <laughs> you're the Doc, Doc. Is she just gonna be like knocked out for this whole entire movie? That's pretty good graphics for, I don't even know what year this was, but they must have had this car like on a ramp lowering it down. Pretty cool. When in the hell? <laughs> Change clothes. Right now it's pouring rain. Marty, just go with it. Fusion Industries, interesting right there. Who owns Fusion Industries? Is it Doc? Are those CDs? I went to a rejuvenation clinic and got a whole natural overhaul. What? <laughs> I'm gonna say his hair looks different. He also replaced my Stephen Cohen. What? What do you think? <laughs> Great, Doc. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that hurt his skin. It's not fun taking latex off your face. He's Marty. No one should know too much about their own destiny. Right. You gotta dress more future-like. Put on the jacket and the shoes. Nike. Oh, what's this? Whoa, look at all these futuristic clothes. Oh, oh, Marty. Is he kind of like a, a doof? Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> Power laces, that's so cool. So fun. Whoa, those are pretty f futuristic guys. Oh no, they're just gonna leave Jennifer in the car like that? Oh no, is it gonna like suction up to him? I'm adjusting fit. <laughs> Be gentle with Jennifer. What are these discs? Wait for a guy named Griff. Tell him you are out. Oh, does he look exactly like his son? Look what happens to your son. <gasps> Youth jailed. Martin McFly, Jr. arrested for theft. He looks just like me. Yeah, he looks just like him. Was tried, convicted, and sentenced to 15 years in the state penitentiary. They've abolished our lawyers? It's worse. Next week, a daughter attempts to break him out of jail, and she gets sent up for 20 years. Oh. <laughs> Jailbreak. This is tomorrow's newspaper. Precisely. I already went further ahead into He went into the future. <laughs> Everything to this one event. That's why we're here today to prevent. Okay, well, thanks, Doc, because that's this is huge. Careful around that Griff character. He's got a few short circuits in his bionic implants. <laughs> his bionic implants. He's got a few short circuits. I love it. Oh, is that the clock tower? Hill Valley clock tower, baby. What does it say on the street? No landing because the flying cars. Oh, look at all the flying cars. Oh my gosh, look at the like town square. Oh, that's cool how that car came down and landed. Jaws 19. <laughs> 
fun fact, I've never seen Jaws. Whoa, look at this futuristic car. <gasps> Whoa, it's like a hologram. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hollow Man's. Shark still looks fake. <laughs> Goldie Wilson III. Goldie the third. <laughs> oh, Cafe 80s. Marty, let's go. Lava lamp. Oh, these are all eight antiques. <laughs> they don't have Perrier water in the future. This is like the cafe that they were at in the 50s. Got a hot saucer, avocados. Michael Jackson is the server <laughs> on that computer. They're like exercising and eating at the same time. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Look at all the Pepsi stuff. <laughs> all I want is a Pepsi. Whoa, that was cool. Hey, McFly. <gasps> it's Biff. Must be rough being named after a complete butthead. Oh, and with the butthead again. <laughs> Hello, McFly. Your old man, Mr. Loser. <gasps> is he talking about Marty McFly? No, I'm not I'm talking about George McFly. I'm talking about his kid. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Whoa, look at these guys in the future. Flushed it completely down the toilet. I did. What is that, Biff and Biff Jr. and Biff Jr.'s kid? Hey, Gramps! I told you, don't go to wax on my car! <laughs> Oh, he's Griff. Okay, but I love how they thought the future was going to be closed like this. It's kind of interesting. Say out of your grandma. Say, <laughs> say out of your grandma. Why? Don't go anywhere. Okay, Griff, you're a little bit twitchy. I love that 80s gaming sound. It's, it's my favorite. I never played Wild Gunman. Gunman. I'm a crack shot at this. <laughs> crack shot. That's like a baby's toy. <laughs> There he is! Oh no! He did he not get intercepted by Doc? I thought Doc was intercepting him. Damn, Pepsi. <laughs> hey McFly! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> he needs to say no. Whoa! Look at that guy's tats on his face. Whoa! A complete wimp. <laughs> oh no! What's Marty gonna do? He's gonna have to distract them. Ah! Oh! Now they're gonna be able to swap out. Jump up! Jump up! Say I'm out. Get your meat hooks off me. <laughs> yeah, what are you, deaf and stupid? I said no. <laughs> yeah. My chicken. <laughs> Nobody calls me chicken. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, he tried using that one in the past. Didn't work this time. <laughs> oh, he canned him. Oh, look at old grandpa Biff wax in the car. <laughs> Give me one of those scooters. Who are you? Hoverboard. It's a hoverboard. Mattel. There's so much product placement in these movies. <laughs> wow. Ooh, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You gotta get used to it. Oh, no. Oh, you. you oh, okay. Why would you need to do that kind of like skateboard thing if you're just flying through? Oh, old trick still working in the future. Something very familiar about all this. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> Look at all the futuristic spandex. Wee! He's like a skipping rock on his hoverboard. Oh no, he's gonna be stuck. Unless you've got power! Whoa. Oh god! The top of his hat looks like a meat pounder. <laughs> Whoa, they're like hanging on by the ropes on the end of that thing. Oh, it's pretty aggro to like try to hit him with this futuristic baseball bat. Oh, they're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Buttheads. <laughs> Classic Biff. Drying mode. Ah. Oh, that's cool. It has one of those computer voices. Thanks. Save the clock. Tower? What? What did you just say? What? I wish I could go back to the beginning of the season. Uh-oh. He's getting the ideas. Instant infant? What? Call the dust buster. <laughs> I can't lose. Marty, up here! Yeah, so he does have all the ideas for betting. Oh, he's seeing the car again. I haven't seen one of those in 30 years. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! <laughs> Ball. Oh no, they've ruined the timeline. Einstein looks different. In the name of Sir Isaac H. Newton, happen here. <laughs> Sleeping, sir, I was afraid of this. Well, Jennifer. Wasn't enough power left to knock your son out for a full hour. Well, you blew it, Doc. Way to go. Oh no, Biff. Hoverboard rampage destroys courthouse. 
Whoa, look at that USA Today drone. Griff now goes to jail. Instead of your son. Marty, we've succeeded not exactly as I plan, but no matter, let's go get Jennifer. But you guys are going to be screwed because Biff saw everything twice and Jennifer probably got out because she probably woke up. So now <gasps> the almanac and then they're probably going to have to go chase her down. What's the harm of bringing back a little info on the future? You're not allowed to do that, Marty. Get the time machine for financial gain. <laughs> Why not? The intent here is to gain a clearer perception of humanity. Hey, Doc, mm. I'm all for that. What's wrong with making a few bucks on the side? <laughs> Little scammer, Marty McFly. Great Scott! <laughs> Forty-seven. That's a hell of a good facelift. Oh no! We gotta stop him. That's my mom. I need to take her home. Great Scott! Jennifer could conceivably encounter her future self. We gotta save her, guys. The encounter could create a time paradox that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe. Oh no! <laughs> Paradox space time continuum. Whoa. The skyway condition. Oh no. I invented the time machine to travel through time. <laughs> Oh no, Biff, yeah, he's for sure like the bad guy or something in this one, he's gonna figure it out. Doc Brown <gasps> into the time machine. Oh, look at this age up makeup, it's pretty cool. That's a lot of prosthetics on that guy. Whoa, let's see what houses look like in 2015 or what they thought houses would look like. Nothing but a breeding ground for tranks, lobos, and zip heads. Look at these sexy cops. Welcome home, Jennifer. And be careful in the future. Oh. <laughs> Careful in the future. Have a nice day, oh, Mrs. McFly. That's cool. They had their like officer names on the top. Uh oh, Jennifer's mind is gonna blow. Oh, yeah. the future. <gasps> oh no, she is gonna meet her future self. <gasps> her wedding dress, Chapel of Love. Did they get married in Vegas? Yeah, get out of there. Good, good idea. What? Oh, there's no door handles in the future. <laughs> Oh no, okay, good. Oh, she's hiding in the cabinet under the stairs like Harry Potter. <laughs> Mom is <gasps> What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like playing himself, but as a girl. Or as like a sister. Oh, I thought I saw a taxi in my rear display. I thought it was following us. Weird. He said he loses all self-control when someone calls him. <laughs> Let's go, Aini. Oh, Aini's having such a good time. <laughs> this is bitching. <laughs> this is bitching. Oh no, Biff's on their case. Careful old time, it is a rough neighborhood. It's a rough neighborhood? But I thought Marty just said they live in Hilldale and it was fancy. Okay, so the taxi was following them and it was Biff. Your father's life would have turned out very oh. different. Oh. wouldn't have pressed charges. Oh no. Hey mom, nice pants. Oh, this is bad. 30987 in one channel. Oh, he has like so many channels on at once. Oh no, he got in a bad car accident. Lord of the Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh no. Is Biff gonna steal the time machine? Oh no, don't leave it. Oh, that dog's getting walked by itself. Don't leave the time machine, Marty. The address of sucks. He is gonna steal the time machine. No, and he's gonna go back and he has the almanac and he's gonna win all the monies. No. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> uh, Marty! More product placement. Ooh, is it gonna grow big when they cook it? Look, Black & Decker, more product placement. Great, great, level four, please. Instantaneous. Whoa. Um, you sure can hydrate a piece. <laughs> I went home hours ago. I'm having a hard time keeping track. Oh no, what does Jennifer get up to in the future? It's a very futuristic garden. Tracked. <laughs> Needles. Why does he have double ties? Everyone in the division to think you're chicken. Oh no, he's gonna go off the rails here. Buddy calls me chicken needles. Nobody. <laughs> oh no. My card. Scan it. Is needles like from the other one? <gasps> you are terminated. His boss. Oh no, he got fired. <laughs> I printed out. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's no doorknob. Press your thumb to the plate. Mm. I need. Oh, it's because of the accident. He didn't have his music career. <gasps> oh, oh no. Oh no. Ah! Oh no, they both fainted. <laughs> oh no, is Biff back? Look at all the parking stalls lit up. Hurry, come quick. <laughs> Watch that re entry, it's bumpy. <laughs> It's not like super frosted though. <gasps> oh, they're gonna know he was in the car. And I'm gonna destroy the time <gasps> machine. You can't. 
you can't destroy it because what did Biff do now? Imagine the danger if a time machine were to fall in the wrong hands. Yeah, exactly. Bad guy, baddie Biff. My only regret is that I'll never get a chance to visit my favorite oh. historical era, the Old West. The Old West. I've never watched a lot of Old Western movies. Maybe I should start. Party. I need brace yourselves for temporal displacement. Brace yourselves. 88, here we go. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be different back then. Look at, look at Aini, he's so cute, his little bangs. Are we back? <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, do not, do not destroy it yet. Oh, but look at the, look at the suburb. It's all nasty and not well taken care of. <gasps> Did he do something to Marty McFly's family? Oh, I guess this is Jennifer's hood, but still. This orientation will help convince her that it was all a dream. Oh no, maybe this is in her house. I remember bars being on these windows. Oh no. <gasps> Look, everything is so graffitied up. Everything's for sale. What is this power line behind his house? Be back in my lap. Dismantling no, this don't dismantle. Man, oh man, oh man. What did Biff frickin' do? <gasps> Did they get erased? Ooh, nice. Parkour! <laughs> oh no, I'm terrified. <gasps> oh no, it's not his. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that on the internet, I don't think. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just in the wrong house. You got that right, right. you know. <laughs> Where is his family? Oh no, the future, I mean the past in 85 is bad. It's like post-apocalyptic. Oh no, they wrecked everything this is bad it's gotta be the wrong year oh oh here we go so it can be biff on there 1985 yeah okay 85. the other son of a bitch has been stealing my newspapers <laughs> it's the principal <laughs> oh. Marty McFly, Marty McFly, don't you know me sir from school sir i've never seen you before in my life yeah they must biff must have erased them all or something the school burnt down six years ago Oh my gosh, the school burnt down. What did Biff do? Oh my God, gangsters. Thank God they were able to dodge those bullets. <laughs> Eat lead, slackers. Eat lead. <laughs> oh, it's the drunk guy. <laughs> Biff, pleasure paradise. <gasps> it's like the Donald Trump tower. <laughs> The casino, oh my God. Oh, he really took advantage of this. They just have a tank. Look at those mutton chops. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Biff Tannen Museum. <laughs> He's a legend. You will learn how Biff Tannen became one of the richest and most powerful men in America. No. Great grandfather, Buford Mad Dog Oh Tannen, my God. Fastest gun in the West. No. And how a trip to the racetrack on his 21st birthday made him a millionaire overnight. Because of the almanac. He did what Marty wanted to do. This winning streak that earned him the nickname, the luckiest man on earth. Yeah, because he stole the almanac from the future and he cheated. And Biff successfully lobbied to legalize gambling legalize gambling god bless america <laughs> he looks like donald trump marilyn monroe happiest moment as in 1973 <gasps> he doesn't exist no third time's a charm oh no he probably forced her so he doesn't exist I mean, we can do this the easy way or the hard way is that billy zane because i thought he was in the first one i just couldn't remember his name oh no this is like the same thing when he woke up Ooh, but he's in like silk sheets oh no you're safe and sound now 27th floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, look at her fake boobies and stuff. I'm fine, it's just that you're so, you're so <laughs> big. Oh my God, I love her 80s outfit though. Lauren! Oh my God, it's your father. My father. Oh no, Biff's his dad and it is his mom. My father. Did you get kicked out of another boarding he school? He sent him to boarding school. Marty is your kid, not mine. Did she still have a kid a with butthead, just like his, his dad? Man. Yeah. What happened to George McFly? Did he kill him? Now speak that way about George. George McFly is dead. He's so bad. <laughs> oh. That's gotta hurt. You were the one who wanted me to get these, these things. <laughs> She's for sure wearing one of those like breastplates. Well, maybe you'd like to have all three of your kids behind bars, just like your brother Joey. You wouldn't, Biff. Oh, he's such a good bad guy. All right, Biff. 
you win. Nah, to stand for her kids. Ugh, Biff, he got so greedy and he went, gone, done it. How are they gonna figure out what he did? You're actually defending him. Oh no, and she's an alcoholic again. And he deserves our respect. Respect! No, he just beat you down. Leave dad. Marty, are you feeling all right? No! He must have died. Did Biff kill him? Oh, they must have hit you over the head hard this time. <laughs> Where's George McFly? Oh no. Oak Park Cemetery. <gasps> oh no. You gotta get back to Doc's house. Oh no, maybe he just went straight home. He started taking apart the DeLorean before he realized what's going on. Oh no, there's his dad's gravestone. <sighs> Died April 1st. Oh no, March 15th. Oh, please God, no! He died in 73. <gasps> I'm afraid it is happening, Marty, all of it. Doc, what are we gonna do? What happened to him, Doc? Shot dead? It's like we're in hell or something. No, it's uh -huh. Phil Valley, although I can't imagine hell being much worse. <laughs> Look at his place. Oh, his little bed. Oh, Einstein, what a good little movie dog. ...has been disrupted, creating this new temporal event sequence resulting in this alternate reality. English, Doc. Yeah, English, Doc. <laughs> oh, George McFly murdered. Skewed into this tangent, creating an alternate 1985. What is this, Loki show? <laughs> oh, man. Recognize this? Yeah, I recognize this. Do you recognize what it is, Marty? It's the top of Biff's cane. Ah, he he recognized it. Because Biff was in the time machine with the sports overnight. All right, he's put it together. Holy shit. <laughs> he knew. So did he go tell his younger self? Yeah. So you're gonna have to go back to that point. <gasps> he has the almanac. Son of a bitch stole my idea. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he was, he was listening to you. It's my fault. Oh, Marty, don't blame yourself. It was an accident. That damn book. None of this would ever happen. Oh, well, that's all in the past. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> By the time machine must be destroyed. No, but you, now you have to go back to the past. Oh, so you guys got to go to the past. Crackpot. Inventor declared legally insane. No. Our only chance to repair the present. Is in the past. In the past. What is going on with Jennifer though? Hello, Jennifer, you dropped her off at somebody's house. When young Biff got his hands on that sports almanac. Well, old Biff must have given it to young Biff. I'll ask him. <laughs> Clint Eastwood was such a babe, still is, but. Oh, he had a plate to protect himself, like a bulletproof vest. You great friggin' flick. <laughs> Ew, Biff, get out of here. Look at these girls. Party's over, Biff. Yeah. Ray's sports. Yes. Almanac. Yes, he knows. Ooh, he kind of looks like a little bit of like a werewolf. Party's over. Party's over. Start talking, kid. What else you know about that? Well, I know more than you because it was my idea. Sit down! Biff! Doesn't work, man. Your rage. The 12th, 1955, that was when. You're the famous Hill Valley lightning storm. You know your history? <laughs> well, yeah, because I was stuck back in time for a week. Because I'd rolled it in a drag race. Oh, so that's when old Biff. Crashed into a manure truck. <gasps> My father told me about it. Yeah, okay, so Biff went back to 1955. <gasps> he has the almanac. <laughs> He's like, give me back my almanac. How is he going to break into that vault to steal it? I never saw him again. Yeah, because he went back to the future. Huh. Oh, he's taken one of the, the lighter packs. He said someday a crazy wild-eyed scientist or a kid may show up as <gasps> Oh my gosh. And if that ever happens. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, he's got the gun. I never thought it would be you. What the hell oh! is that? Oh! Oh my gosh, Biff, you are one wild mofo. Yeah, don't go to the roof. What is that like matchbook gonna do? Oh, he tricked him. No, don't go to the roof. <gasps> Is Doc gonna come save him on the roof up here? With the DeLorean? No. Jump. What if I don't? Yeah, what if I don't? Lead poisoning. <gasps> oh my God, <laughs> lead poisoning. It couldn't match up the bullet that killed your old man. You, I knew it. Yeah, you son of a bee. No, Biff, we need to fix your timeline because you're just absolutely terrible. <gasps> the DeLorean's gotta be down there. Here we go, here we go. The hoverboard? Oh no, the DeLorean. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> nice shot, Doc! Yeah, Doc. We 
gotta go back to 1955. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Oh my gosh, they're going back to 1955. Are they gonna have to like avoid themselves as well? Almost as if it were the temporal junction point for the entire space-time continuum. What does all this mean? An amazing coincidence. Well, Doc, what about Jennifer? What about Einstein? Oh yeah, you can't just leave them here. I mean, we succeed in our mission. This alternate 1985 will be changed back into the real 1985. <gasps> they better be fine, Doc. What if we don't succeed? Okay, we must succeed, because if you don't, you're screwed. <laughs> Live in the home of tomorrow today. Yay, back behind the sign. A little frosty DeLorean. I mean, it's like I was just here yesterday. Because you literally were here yesterday. <laughs> Above all, you must not interfere with that event. We must let Obif believe he succeeded. Oh, right. Because he's got to go back to the future. Remember, both of our futures depend on oh, this. Oh, no, he said it again. Both of our futures depend on this. Walkie talkies. <laughs> There are now two of me here, and there are two of you. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there two? The other me, that helps. The other the you, other in 1985. <laughs> Look at them running back and forth. So you must be very careful not to run into your other right. self. Right, you can't go into the dance. The emergency cash! <laughs> Have to be prepared for all monetary possibilities. <laughs> oh my god, I freaking love them. Something is conspicuous! Duck. <laughs> Uh, oh, does he live with his granny? Oh, be nice to your grandma. Yeah. Oh, give them back their ball. Those kids are so freaking cute. <gasps> Don't you do it, Biff. No. Oh. Ugh. He's a good actor, though, because you just hate him. <laughs> Let's go. Stealth mode. Go get yourself a five cent coffee. Oh. Old Biff. Oh yeah, after it went into the manure. Oh, this is cool that we're getting to see this. 300 bucks back then was probably a lot of money. Oh no, cause he doesn't know where old man Biff is. Okay, good, he wasn't seen. Oh, 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 I hope I didn't can him. His mom. Oh yeah, it's her, when she got her dress, that's so cool. No Biff, she's not into you. <gasps> no. <sighs> He's just so nasty. It's funny, he's a screen door on a battleship. Screen door on a submarine, you dork. <laughs> I'm going with Calvin Klein, okay? I'm going with Calvin Klein. Your girl, even if even if you had a million dollars. Oh, but then you do become his girl in the alternate timeline of 1985. I'm telling you, you'll pay my wife! Ugh, gross. You always did have a way with women. <gasps> Who you call it butthead, butthead? <laughs> we call him butthead, butthead. Nobody can start this car but me. Oh, well, he knows how. Because I am you, but in the future. All right, Marty, you better listen in to everything he says. Rich. Marty, wanna... hide. Hide, Marty. You're going to make me rich? <laughs> yeah, he's got the answer. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> leave, you idiot. Make like a tree and leave. You oh, he's going to play the game on the radio and he's going to prove it to him. Darn it, Marty almost got his hands on it. Turn it up. Turn up the volume. Let's see what happens. The crowd goes wild. <gasps> he tells him. He is a scientist, Biff, and a really good one. All right, Marty, what's your plan from here? Ooh, sliding on the car. <laughs> oh, no, did you get locked in there? Great, Scott. Oh, yeah, the walkie-talkies. You can't fly the DeLorean over there. I can't take the DeLorean out in the daylight. Exactly. Ooh, just like easy pickings out of his pocket. Oh, the dance. Oh, he's back in the car. <gasps> oh my gosh, Marty, you almost got caught there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, Doc on his little bike. Look at the tassels. He's gonna realize he was able to get out. Marty. Marty. <laughs> Look at his hat, he still had the tag on it. <laughs> Does he not see you in the rear view mirror? Oh no, the feedback. You better get out of there. Great. <gasps> the DeLorean. Could he steal it and have two? But then Marty wouldn't be able to get back to 1955. Is he going to watch himself? Is he going to steal his out of time license plate? <gasps> Heavy. Excuse me, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> be a pal. Hand me a 5 8 inch wrench. I'll have two bucks. <laughs> Don't let him see your face. Do you mean three quarters? <laughs> Maybe we'll bump into each other sometime again in the future. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're in the past. Maybe they will bump into each other sometime in the future. 
Is he going to realize that, that was himself? He, he, it's sinking. Get the DM almanac. No. And the other one, he watched him go back himself go back in time. And now in this one, he's going to watch himself in the dance. That's going to be a whole thing. Doc, doc, commit. <laughs> I love walkie talkies. <gasps> His daddy -o. Ooh, someone's spiking the punch. He's got to get it. Like, he's got to. <gasps> oh, no. There he is. <gasps> oh, light as a feather. Nice line on your toes there, Marty. He's going to feel it. Well, 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 Mr. Tannen. Oh no, is Mr. Strickland gonna get the, his hands on that book? No, I don't know what liquor smells <laughs> like because I'm too young to drink. Oh, please, Biff. The almanac. Oh no, he did grab it. A real attitude problem, you know that, Tannen? Just watch it. That's what he said to McFly in the other one. Oh no, now he has the almanac. <gasps> My mother. Oh. And then writing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah, get that in writing because I want that in the future. I can do whatever I want. Mr. Strickland's going to go and he's going to start betting. I think he realized what it was right away. Knock on his door and then like run away. How would you not hear the door opening? Yoink and run. Yoink and run. <laughs> oh no, Marty, the door is shutting behind you. <gasps> go around the desk. Go around. Did he take it? Did he take it? Please tell me he took it. <gasps> it's a ghost, Mr. Strickland. <laughs> Is it the ice cream truck? <laughs> Marty, how are you going to get out of here? Oh, f that would have hurt so bad. <laughs> Was that the hand injury? He threw out the almanac. Our page is ripped out. No. Oh my God. He switched the books. He switched the book. You. God damn it, come in. What? Am I your spiff? You're asking for it. <laughs> He's right there. Come on, think, Marty. I got one chance. My old man's about to deck <laughs> He is about to deck him. Boom. Spinorama. I love that. But where's the almanac? Was it not Strick Strickland that took it? Who did it? I don't know. Aw. It must be so crazy to see yourself. Talk about deja vu. Yeah. It's okay. I know CPR. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh, he got the book. He... <laughs> I'll meet you on the roof of the high school gym. Oh, no. Guys, what's that? <laughs> I love that trick that it works. <laughs> and then Jennifer's going to wake up thinking that it was all just a dream. Doc, what kind of flying is this, man? Our... <laughs> How come they never show George McFly's face? Is he going to have to save himself in the 1955 timeline? He's going to get ambushed. This guy's chased me into the gym and they're going to jump. Me? Me, <laughs> then get out of there. No. No, Doc, not me, the other me. I think he took his no, wallet. No, he didn't take the wallet, buddy. <laughs> but he did take something, so kudos. <laughs> I keep thinking that guy's Billy Zane. Is it? Somebody tell me. Why is he wearing 3D glasses? You got to save yourself. No, no, Marty. I love how they were able to like layer this from like the old footage and the new footage. It's cool editing. Looks really good. No, I can't watch. I can't watch. <gasps> oh, he got him. Don't you dare fall. <laughs> oh, smooth Marty McFly. Music. Oh yeah, they reacted that scene because that's not what her hair looked like. <laughs> the chicken. Oh no, the chicken just gets them each time. <laughs> no, Marty, just walk away. You've learned this. Chicken. Oh no, is he gonna see the almanac? You my stuff. I. <laughs> How is he gonna get out of this one? Oh. Throws it in the back seat. I just love that. Radio Doc, come in, Doc. Chase Biff. Gotta break him. The, break the news. Biff nailed me. Took the book. He drove away with it in his car. <laughs> Can't you just drive the DeLorean like a car on the road? He's in a '46 Ford. We're in a DeLorean. He ripped through us like we were ten. <laughs> Lower him down. This is cool. 
Oh, he, he still has the hoverboard. Let's go, Marty. Ooh. <laughs> I love how he's always holding onto the cars. Look at that one foot strap. He's gonna reach back and grab it. <sighs> this is getting old. Grab it. Grab the damn book. Eek! Oh my gosh, it's on the windshield. Is this the accident? Marty! Oh no, the tunnel. The tunnel. We don't realize he's on a hoverboard, Biff. Freaking hover in front of the car. Just go, 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 go. Oh, I saw him. Marty is getting absolutely destroyed in this movie. <laughs> He tucked in his legs just at the last minute. <gasps> Marty, what a move. Beth, you psychopath. You gotta get that power. <laughs> I love the hoverboard sound. Do the thing you did last time. Your foot's not strapped in. Do your trick, run over the car. <gasps> he dropped the line. Hold on, Marty. <laughs> Hold on, Marty. Look at the bottom of the DeLorean. <gasps> the manure. <laughs> oh, serves you right again. I hate manure. Oh. Thanks for the lift, Doc. That thing was strong enough to hold him. <gasps> Burn it. Oh, that's why he has the matchbook. Oh, and he has a bucket. He's gonna tear out one page. Bye-bye, sports almanac. Don't light the whole place on fire. What? Oh, auto detailing, it went back. George McFly honored. Yes. <laughs> Look at the hoverboard hovering. Emmett Brown committed to Emmett Brown commended. Yes. Is okay, right? Something better not happen to Doc here with this lightning. Hey, Doc, let's get her ass back to the future. Frickin' knew it. That was a close one, Marty! That was a close one! You don't wanna get struck by Just... Did that make him time travel? Because of the 1.21 gigawatts? <laughs> Where did he go to? Doc! Oh no, now he's left in the past again. Panic attack ensues. He's gonna be okay, it just made him time travel. It's raining. It didn't rain before. Is that old Doc from 1955? It's, is it like a, Mr. is he like a uh, time traveling guy? I've got something for oh. you. No. A letter. What? Who the hell are you? Western Union. What? We've had that envelope in our possession for the past 70 oh, years. Oh no, is Doc not able to get back? Oh my gosh. 70 years, two months, uh, 12 days to be exact. Here, sign on my <laughs> Doc must have traveled somewhere. And then he had to obviously go back and get this letter sent to him. It's from yeah. the Doc! But you're reading it in the rain. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. 1885, look at what it's written on. He's in the Old West. He's in the Old West, because that's where he always wanted to go. There's only one man who can help me. Doc from 1955. <laughs> Are they all going to jump in the time machine? Oh my God. And then Marty's going to show back up and he's going to be like, what? I thought I sent you back. <laughs> Can you rebuild another flying time machine? Yeah. <laughs> Don't give Doc a headache or uh, a heart attack when he sees you. <laughs> Doc, let me tell you, I got a bunch to tell you. Doc. Doc. See? <laughs> Just sent you back to the future. Yeah, I know, but let me let me tell you. I'm back from the future. <laughs> Is this how they're gonna end it? <laughs> yeah, I mean it. Oh no, Marty, you're stuck in 1955 again. That is what sequels are made of. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was so fun. What are they gonna get up to back in the Old West in 1885? So the new recasting of Jennifer, played by Elizabeth Shue, she definitely did not really have a huge role in that, but let's see if she will come back in number three. Also, was Crispin Glover not in this one? Because I felt like they never showed his face and like every time in all the transitions, they never showed him, they always hid him. So 
is, was he not in this? Did they not recast him again in this one? I don't know. I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did watching Back to the Future 2. It was my honor to share this with you. It has been a joy to watch these. These are absolutely so much fun. I cannot wait to watch Back to the Future 3. So I guess Back to the Future 2 was shot four years after the original. Okay, cause like he looked a little bit older, but not that much older. Thank you so much for joining me on Back to the Future 2. This has been such a blast. And like Dr. Emmett Brown says, where we're going, we don't need roads, but we do need subscribers. So hit that subscribe button and join me as we continue our journey through space and time. Until next time, keep your hoverboard charged and your flux capacitor flexing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Huh.